how similar are documents right we have a lot of documents you can you probably have lots of documents on your computer like emails or, or files or word files or text files so if you have a lot of documents you can load them in Python and add them to a list called a corpus so this is just a list of documents every list element is one document so these are unique documents then to, to check how similar they are we need to use a module from a library called sklearn which is a machine learning library so far so good so we just import the library with these two lines and we created a list of documents with these so what's all this stuff well computers by themselves don't understand natural language so all of the text needs to be understood to convert it into a numeric system that the computer understands because the computer has no concept of for example a cat or space or sunshine or reason it doesn't understand these concepts so we need numeric data in this case we could use we have text data so a computer could use statistical data like word frequency uh, how often does a word occur right because uh, this word occurs only once in all these documents so that makes this document different from the others so you could use word frequency as a feature or as a property to compare so we create a, a vectorizer which turns all of each document into a numeric list so called vector because we, computers can use numbers then we turn every one of these documents into a unique vector or feature so every every document is represented by a number or a list of numbers then if we ever if every document is represented by a number or a list of numbers we can compare how close these these numbers are right so if one document is number three and the other document is number seven you know the distance between these numbers so that's what we're checking here we compare the distance of the first document so that's this one to all of the others now if you run this simple program you'll see it creates a vocal vocabulary so how often these words occur and you'll see the how close they are and it starts with the first documents so it's like the identity uh, element first one is always the closest right so this element is to compare to itself it has no distance then it compares to the other documents so the greater the distance the less similar they are so you'll see the this one is less similar which is in this document is less similar to the other to the first document than this one you can see it's shorter and this has a lot of other words too right so we can just uh, compare the distance and we can also find the closest which is the one with the smallest distance so in this case zero is the closest which is itself and then we have the smallest number is 3.16 which is this document so this is how we can easily compare uh, documents or text files uh, on contents